times when the fundamentals and the technicals agree. Additionally, recently, short-term technicals have started to decline. Therefore, they are all significant. Tesla is a stock that everyone owns, as you mentioned. They want to make investments in a fantastic car and a visionary CEO like those at Apple, Amazon, and the others. Therefore, the stock may not always reflect what the fundamentals may indicate. Because of this, technical skills are invaluable in situations like this. This is a brand new Tesla value model that we think you should check out as well. Recall when Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla's value is based entirely on autonomy. We'll soon see this in terms of actual figures though. The short-term fluctuations in Tesla's gross margins and profitability are actually insignificant in comparison to the long-term price, as the Tesla CEO once stated. He claimed that autonomy would make all other Tesla figures absurd. That comment is really bullish. Because of this, in today's video we'll examine Tesla's most recent valuation model and see what may possibly be in store for those interested in investing in Tesla. Let's start now. Here we shift gears and concentrate a little more on the earnings season, which is ramping up this week. Big tech stock earnings are keenly anticipated by investors. That comes after the Nasdaq was negatively impacted by Tesla and Netflix's second quarter reports last week. The company's top and bottom line gains are obscured by Tesla's recent decline, and it was downgraded this morning as well, within UBS. That's really fascinating. In pre-market trade, those shares are declining. Head of Technical Strategy at Fundstrat Global Advisors Mark Newton is still with us. Mark, one of the names we wanted to sort of get into a little bit was Tesla. It is obviously quite interesting to a lot of people. After what we witnessed last week, how does the setup look now? Well, Tesla has experienced an amazing climb. Since the middle of April, it has increased by nearly 100%. Therefore, it's challenging for equities to rise linearly without making any kind of pullback. So, it has become overbought in the near term. There have been few instances where the stock price has increased, but lately, momentum hasn't followed. Therefore, that is a technological issue. This indicates that the stock may occasionally need to consolidate. So, it reached $300. And over the past week, we've noticed a little backing and filling. They have decreased. It is now only 256 Therefore, it's approaching a point when investors would want to think about technically purchasing dips. But you know, you have to understand that, in comparison to many other stocks, the stock is highly volatile. It became negative last year, after all. Previously, in October and November, Elon Musk sold shares. Literally, the stock was slashed in half. It decreased to nearly 100. Thus, it is presently at 256. Therefore, it was still a very, very good rally. And if anything, the outlook has become far more optimistic over the medium run. As the demand for environmentally friendly transportation rises, Tesla's innovative strategy seems to be helping it maintain a competitive edge in the electric vehicle industry. This business is also ideally situated to benefit from the transition to renewable energy sources. Investors who appreciate Tesla's dedication to its goal and its unorthodox yet effective business model frequently see the company as a promising long-term investment. And according to us, every Tesla investor should consider this. Welcome back to Tesla, gentlemen. In the future, Tesla's ambitious aspirations, including its plans for electronics, energy storage solutions, and autonomous driving, might result in significant revenue sources. We do know that Tesla can already produce more cars for less money than any other established automaker outside of China. However, it is not where the real money is. The automaker's technology division, where Tesla is essentially unrivaled by its competitors, will generate the majority of its revenue. This is all that we currently know and may continue to know for some time. What is the purpose of the most recent Tesla valuation? Let's investigate. But before we get started, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, click the like button, subscribe, and enable notifications to stay informed about what Tesla is doing. The Tesla Robotaxi Network is the main focus of this value model. According to this forecast, Tesla would only profit on AVSD, software subscriptions, and robotaxi revenue and will sell its cars at cost. In the second quarter of this year, the carmaker sold a total of 4.9 million automobiles. By the end of 2035, let's assume it will have sold 130 million vehicles. In addition, 
eliminating all other revenue from the energy insurance supercharging service, Dojo and Bots. These vehicles truly comprise Tesla's robo-taxi fleet. For this vehicle, Tesla will solely profit from SSD and autonomy. By 2035, Tesla could generate up to $300 billion in income from FSD and roughly $580 billion in revenue from FSD autonomy. By 2035, the combined yearly potential revenue from FSD and driverless vehicles might reach $895 billion. With these revenue statistics and a 35% net profit margin and 32 earnings multiple, Tesla could have a market cap of $9.4 trillion in 2035, in just 12 years. How much do you believe Tesla stock can be worth by then, given this market cap? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. Tesla has since released strong financial statistics for the second quarter that exceeded all predictions. Delivery increased 83% year-over-year as the business increased discounts. Revenue increased 47% and net income increased to 20%. Wall Street, however, raised concerns about price reductions, which caused Tesla's operating margin to fall to a two-year low. Many analysts don't think Tesla has strong demand, as seen by the stock price dropping 10% after the same announcement. Let's consider it from this angle, though. Beginning in 2025, Ford, GM, Rivian, Volvo, Polestar, and other automakers plan to assemble their electric vehicles using Tesla's North American charging standard. Thus, their consumers will have access to the network of Tesla superchargers. Electrify America and other charging businesses have vowed to add an X to their current network as well. This network of charging stations has long been one of Tesla's greatest assets and may significantly increase demand. For instance, moving non-Tesla car manufacturers to Tesla's charging technology should be much facilitated by this charging agreement and other professionals in the auto industry have claimed that this may be the reason why consumers should wait at least two more years before purchasing an electric car other than a Tesla. Simply simply, Tesla should be the only option for everyone looking to purchase an EV. With automakers acting as charging stations and more businesses embracing Tesla's technology, in the next few years, KEX will become far less prevalent. So why purchase a car with this charging port if you still have to pay for adapters? With the exception of Tesla customers, almost all EV owners are considering fumbling around with adapters for the duration of their ownership or trying to find a way to pay to have the new plug system fitted into their vehicle. This is where the federal tax credit that lowers the cost of Tesla cars comes into play. The federal battery tax credits alone might bring in up to $1 billion for Tesla this year, and the company will save another billion or so in costs as a result of the sharp decline in the cost of lithium and other metals. Significant Cost Savings Despite earlier this year's up to 30% price cuts in EVs due to the $0.35 per kilowatt hour federal incentives for battery production, the government's brilliant and generous tax credits for new EVs and their batteries, as well as the decline in lithium prices, have all allowed Tesla to surprise analysts with much better earnings than expected. Tesla anticipates earning as much as $250 million each quarter and likely $1 billion this year. Who knows, though? According to Elon Musk, a further billion in cost savings may result from the sharp drop of up to 80% in the price of lithium and other component materials from the previous year. With the help of government subsidies, lower component costs, and improved production efficiency, Tesla was able to weather the fallout from its price battle and is now prepared to do it again if the economy worsens. Without a doubt, market difficulties like rising interest rates could have a negative impact on these cars' affordability. However, prices are likely to remain stable if the market is stable. How much revenue do you believe Tesla could get from FSD and autonomy? Please share your opinion of Tesla with us in the comments section below. Click on the following video on your screen if you want to learn more about what Tesla has been up to recently. Hello the re.